Excuse me, um, could I sit with you? <laughs> yeah, it's really busy around this time of day, and I couldn't find a free table, so... <sighs> Thank you. <sighs> oh my gosh, talking to people and stuff is, um, it's really hard for me. Oh, did you come here to read? If so, go right ahead. I I don't plan on annoying you or anything like that. No, seriously. I just came here to write a bit. So don't feel obligated to talk to me. Unless you're in the mood for a little chat. Okay. So are you taking a break from work right now? Hmm. I get that. Sometimes it's really nice to just be able to shut off for a bit, enjoy a cozy drink, and get lost in thought. Do you come here often, by the way? I've never seen you around, and I'd consider myself a regular. Second time? Yeah, that makes sense. In my opinion, this place is the best in the area. Like, once you find it, you just gotta come back. That was the case for me, at least. The drinks are absolutely fantastic, and the staff are all so nice and welcoming. Oh, have you tried the cakes yet? They'll blow your mind, I promise. Or maybe don't try them, since you might get addicted. Though, that would mean I get to see you around more often. So, yeah, you should definitely try the cake. <laughs> Yeah, they're really that good. I know the girl who makes them, and she's an absolute sweetheart. She bakes them fresh every single day. And sometimes we hang out after hours. Just sit here and eat some of the leftovers. That's one of the reasons I love this particular coffee shop. Once you get to know the people, you're basically family here. I love to people watch, too whenever I'm not buried in my writing. It's so fascinating to see everyone rush by as though there's no tomorrow. So quick. Usually I come in either before or after busy hours, but this time I couldn't have waited. I love the place because of how calm and quiet it is, but today I have plans later, and I figured either I have to come here a bit earlier than usual, or I just don't get to. Even though I knew it'd be packed, I thought I'd give it a try anyways, and maybe get a little writing done. I struggle with doing stuff at home. Getting inspired and motivated to work is really tricky when you could just lay in bed and watch YouTube. Or, like, Netflix or something. Somehow, when I'm outside, the pressure to perform is much higher. I have to get work done. And distractions aren't half as distracting anymore. Like, have you ever seen somebody watch YouTube out in the open? It's really weird. Especially when they're not using headphones. Yeah, I don't know. Somehow it just works a lot better when I'm out. Maybe it's the background sounds or feeling like you have to do something when you're sipping fresh coffee. Who knows? Or it could be all the people. For me, it always helps to realize I'm not completely alone and shut off from the world. I just feel like a part of something when I'm here. Typing away at my computer. Scribbling on my notepad. Either way, somehow it works. That's the important part, isn't it? And sometimes you get to meet really interesting people when you're outside. Like right now, for example. Or the other day, I saw someone in a bear costume walk by, and they waved at me. I technically didn't meet them, since we didn't talk. But that was a lot more exciting than sitting at home by myself. It made me smile. I'm also trying to build up my confidence and get better about talking to people. Normally, I would have just turned and 
went away seeing how full the place is right now, but just the thought of having to talk to somebody used to make me physically tremble, but I'm really proud of myself for being able to have a conversation with a stranger right now. And I have to say thank you for letting me talk to you. You could have just put on your headphones and pulled out your phone to ignore me, but you didn't. And to be honest, I'm really glad about that. You could have just scoffed when I went to sit with you, or told me to, you know, piss off or something, but you didn't. I mean, I'm working on the whole confidence thing. I still can't go up to people and tell them, oh, I like your jacket, or oh, your boots are cool, or your hair. Those are things I think about when I see people. And I know they would probably love to hear it, especially when a lot of people are so insecure, but I struggle with going up to them. Hey, I guess I should try sometime. What's the worst that can happen? I mean, murder, technically, but I'm sure nobody would kill someone over a compliment. Right? I don't, I, I don't want to get treated meanly either. What if they roll their eyes or completely ignore me? Because I'm annoying? Sorry. I, um, I tend to spiral sometimes. It's not really fun. As I said, I'm trying to work on it. Uh, but anxiety is a horrible thing to handle. It's actually really sad to see how many people, like, People suffer from social anxiety for seemingly no reason. I mean, that's what anxiety is. You don't really know the reason. And people are pretty scary. And way back then, everyone's survival did depend on being able to fit in. For them, it was life or death to be accepted by others, since humans needed to be in groups to flourish. But it's stupid that we have to live like that now, you know? Everyone's so self-sufficient. It's so irritating when you know it's not crucial, and you know it's unlikely that anyone's going to get mad at you over nothing. You know what I mean, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, thank you for being nice about this. Um, I'm really surprised I'm able to talk so much right now. I swear I'm usually so much quieter. Do you get that often? that you're easy to talk to. I mean, because I do, for some reason, people love to open up to me. I don't really mind. I just don't get why it happens. I do find it super interesting to talk to people, hearing their stories and all, seeing how they tick, how different they are from what I expect based on movie stereotypes and stuff like that, or books. As a kid, I didn't really have many friends, you know? So I had to rely on books and movies to learn about how people function, and on there it's always the same few tropes over and over again. Most people don't fit into tropes even remotely, and it was this weird lesson I had to learn. To be honest, you seem like the bookish type as well. Books or maybe manga? Maybe that's why I feel comfortable. Like coming up to you, because you looked approachable. <laughs> hey, I almost complimented you. Can I try that again to practice? I mean, you'll be my first victim. You obviously don't have to say yes. I don't want you to be uncomfortable because of me. <laughs> it is kind of over the top how much I worry. I know. It's really unreasonable and weird, but, I mean, normally a person could just walk away. But you're kind of stuck here with a half-finished drink and a random weirdo at your table. <laughs> okay, back on track. Uh, would you be okay with me practicing compliments on you? Okay, okay, awesome, thank you. Okay. I like your shirt. The color really suits you. Is that good? I guess if I were walking up to someone at random, it'd probably be more like, Hey, nice shirt. 
or something like that. I don't know. But it does flatter you. It really brings out your eyes. Makes them pop, you know? You have really pretty eyes. Every time, like, every time someone says that, it gives me, like, serial killer. I want to put your eyes in a jar vibes, but I don't know how else to phrase it. You know, like, when dentists say you have good teeth? It always feels weird. Imagine someone coming up to you and telling you, I like your teeth. But on the other hand, if I go up to a stranger and I tell them they have a nice smile, is that weird? Maybe, could I try? I like your smile. <gasps> See, it worked, you're smiling. I could also say, you're really pretty or handsome or your outfit's awesome or I like your jewelry if you're wearing some, right? I guess it depends on the situation. I'm not really sure because sometimes it's like really small things I notice about somebody like the way they do their eyeliner or the tattoo they have or the way they did their hair or like the way their nose has like a little bump and it's kind of cute. Do you think it's weird to tell someone they're pretty or that I like their eyebrows? <laughs> because on one hand, saying someone is pretty or handsome is much stronger and like broader, you know? Who am I to tell somebody they're pretty without having seen them on a bad day? Or I could be seeing them on a bad day. I think the concept of pretty could be kind of shallow, to be honest. Because it's pretty to whom? Doesn't really matter if I someone say that someone's good looking. Or am I saying that I deem them pretty to society? Maybe I'm thinking about this too much. In the end, I'm worried that I just freak people out. When I come up to them and say, nice eyebrows or cool shoes, you know? Because does that raise the question whether I was staring at them to evaluate their eyebrows? I'm being complicated again. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if somebody came up to me and said something like, Hey, I like your hair. You have nice hands. I'd be flattered. No weird thoughts. Oh, 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 oh. Um, I have to leave soon. I didn't realize how late it was. Um, thank you for chatting with me, or letting me talk to you while you <laughs> kind of listened and nodded. I hope I didn't seem too straight. It was a pleasure to talk to you. And, um, if you ever see me sitting here on my own, and you feel like talking to me, I wouldn't mind if you did. Only if you want to, of course. But, have a great day. And, uh, by the way, I really like your voice. <laughs> Bye.